Would you want your weekend to be an orgy of food, television, and other things unspeakable? Or would you want to take up a physically demanding task? Maybe run 10 kilometers tomorrow morning. Welcome, ladies and gents, to yet another episode of the Men's Health and Women's Health Show, the program that will give you the very correct but almost unspeakable answers. On the show today, how Hrithik and Katrina trained for their roles in Bang Bang and Men's Health's newest cover guy, Sushant Singh Rajput's Fitness Secrets. First up are the superstars of the moment, Hrithik Roshan and Katrina Kaif. Both beautiful people who've chiseled beautiful bodies. Just work hard, yeah. Uh, we all know what to do, yeah. Sab pushta rehte hain ki, you know, what shall I eat, what shall I... How should I work out? I will write a book for all my fans. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be my contribution uh, to, my, to my fans. I will be with them, along with them, uh, to transform their bodies very, very soon. Well, Satyajit Chaurasia, Hrithik's trainer for Bang Bang, helps us throw some light on his training regime. For specific this film, Hrithik train really gave his 100%. I would say only 5 minutes early morning, any workout. And literally with two dumbbells and that resistant band, you can make body. You can increase your metabolism. You can just, you have to pump blood through the muscles, from whole, head to toes. This shoot pe do dumbbell and this bench se uh, uh, train for bang bang, basically. So it's very simple, yeah. you just need to, you know, fix it. And just, if you want to do bicep, you will just do like dumbbell curls. Slowly. Try and come really slow, three seconds. Three up and three down. Like one, two, and three. Squeeze it. One, two, three, and down. Take a nice breath. Simple. And certainly these shorts wouldn't have looked even half as good without Katrina Kaif and her sculpted physique. I, I was really excited that we were able to do that bike, you know, the, the one where you turn around on the bike and I was really excited we were able to do that on our own. Now losing weight is one thing. How fast or how long that process takes is quite another. 25-year-old women's health reader Tanya Marma lost 15 kilos in 8 months and she shows us it's easier than you think. At the age of 22, when you start hearing from kids that auntie please go there. So that make you realize that you are not an auntie, you are a girl. Hi, I'm Tanya Marwa. I'm 25 year old. Eight months back, I used to weight uh, 71 kgs and now I'm 56 kg. It's been five years that I have been struggling to lose weight. I went to various well-known gyms. Nothing worked out because nothing was in my comfort zone. So that frustration led me to gain more and more weight. When I started gaining weight, I became very conscious. Uh, my confidence level was very down. When I wanted a proper solution, how these celebrities make their body and everything. So I just start, started searching on Google engine and uh, there I found uh, Mr. Vinod Sana. Where uh, then I met him, I took a trial session with him. all the advanced techniques which I never knew that existed in India. He used to come up daily with a very new workout techniques I never used to get bored. After training with Mr. Vinod Channa, my workout has become very advanced wherein uh, he has included functional training, crossfit training, parkour and various other 
techniques of yoga and everything. Diet is an important part of your life. Diet is basically not starving. It's it's a correct eating habits. I have started including eggs, sprouts, then quinoa, chicken and fish. All these things I eat more. Basically protein helps us in building muscles and reducing fat. Now that I have lost a lot of weight, I have become very confident and uh, the attitude towards exercise has changed. I work out very regularly. I don't feel conscious anymore. I'm more confident. I can go out, I can wear whatever clothes I want to. I have become more disciplined and I have started working hard towards everything in my life. A question I often get asked is this. Are those six-pack abs on Men's Health cover models Photoshop? You're about to see an exclusive behind-the-scenes video with actor Sushant Singh Rajput our latest cover guy, and you'll see that that entire Photoshop theory is anything but true. Hi, I'm Charang Monti Samal from Men's Health, and I'm here to meet actor Sushant Singh Rajput, the boy next door with a magnetic superstar appeal. So how hard did he have to work out to make it to Men's Health? Let's find out. Hi, this is Sushant Singh Rajput. Catch me on the cover of Men's Health. Three months back, if you had seen me, I was not in great shape. And uh, then you would not have said that he, this guy will be on the cover of Men's Health three months from now. We had a very tight uh, schedule and uh, I stuck to it and now that I am on the cover, I'm feeling very great. It took me around eight to ten weeks. Of course I had to work hard, but then uh, it was not as tough as it sounds. Uh, because the most important thing is to stick sticking to the basics. Sticking to the right calories every day and five days a week workout. I'm a big foodie. So anything in uh, say alu ka parata and ghee or maybe a rasmalai, all these things I love. Curbing those uh, temptations, that is slightly difficult but then once you see the physical transformation that you're, the thing that you're getting out of it, then you don't mind and after a few days you just get conditioned for it. Stick to the basics. Simple mathematics, simple workout things. Not very complicated workout schedules. It's just simple. So it was as I, it was two days of strength training, one day of off in between, and then three days of hypertrophic, and another day off. So it was that simple. Restricting few um, different kinds of food every day, and then binging on one particular day. So it is very very uh, devastating. And, Trust me, each and every diet that I have every day is as good as a, you know, a cheap diet. I eat white rice with uh, a vegetable or say chicken and gravy. I eat pastas in white sauce. I eat oats with sugar in the morning. Don't listen to fads, stick to basics. a mannequin. I'm here to spy on Shubhi Hussain, our nutrition expert today. She's probably already inside looking through the menu. Let's see what she's going to order. I'm at Hard Rock Cafe today. 
I'll go with the starters. And uh, let me see, seems to be very tempting. Potato skin seems to be very uh, high in fiber. Then this uh, yogurt dip is here. Potato skins really, and I thought potatoes were a complete no-no if you're on a diet. But I guess it can be a healthy option too, only if eaten wisely. Lot of fiber, lot of carbohydrate, good source of carbohydrate is there. Then yogurt, the so good source of protein, not bad. But I will still prefer to go with the cottage cheese and spinach. My best option, though it's being full of antioxidants, vitamins, and cottage cheese, very good source of protein with pita bread, totally fat free. Seems to be very tempting. So I just cannot stop myself. I just have to take a bite. Let me see how it tastes. Mmm, yummy. I don't mind trying this bread also. The combination is great, which is again a health, healthy option. So I'll prefer this, but this portion seems to be quite a lot for me. So I'll go for half of it. Not a bad idea to start with. After the starters, I like to have some drinks. And this place is uh, quite uh, famous for good mocktails. So I have selected two for myself. Wild berry smoothie. Double berry cooler. Oh wow, this seems to be really tempting. I'm not a very milk type of a person. I do not recommend also. I think this is quite cool. Uh, lemon, good source of vitamin C. And let me just try and taste it. Oh wow, cool. Made my day. Really, really nice. Delicious. And it's a surprise for you. Let's see. One is comes. What is it all about? I am so sure it's going to be a burger. Hajo Cafe is the burger heaven, and who can possibly go wrong with that? Who says we cannot eat burgers? I'll try these burgers. This is filo fish. And uh, this one is tandoori chicken spicy burger. Okay. So I'll go for this filo fish. Seems to be a very good source of omega fatty acids. And I will take out this cheese slice from the top. So that is off cheese. Now I'll cut it into half. Because this portion seems to be too much for myself. Yeah. And uh, I will order myself some salsa sauce with this. I'm not going to for this creamy dip. So, and some tomatoes. This is again the good source of vitamins in my plate. And off. I'll have it with my strawberry cooler. So why not if you're dining out, you should go for the fish option other than tandoori chicken option, which is too spicy fried. Now that I'm done spying on Shubhi and all that delicious food, it's time for me to indulge without feeling guilty. That, ladies and gents, brings us to the end of yet another episode. Until next week, keep working out those abs and those biceps. Because we're not happy with your fit, not until you're at your fittest.